which is a legal entity, uh, which is formed to serve the alumnus and the students, but mostly the alumnus. Uh, initially, it was made by the initiative of the alumnus, and later on in 2010, uh, the alumni association was invited to the foundation board. The president of the alumni association is nominated to the foundation board. So effectively, you have three major stakeholders in the institution which owns the university, which is uh, split between one third goes to the Swedish state and Stockholm School of Economics, one third goes to Latvian University and Latvian state, and one third goes to the alumni. So one of the main responsibilities is to be present there. Uh, another one is basically coordinating the work of the alumni association itself. And uh, it's not necessarily that I'm taking lead on all of the things that we do, but basically planning and organizing and taking some of the initiatives uh, to the school administration or to the foundation board is uh, what we usually do. Um, the building itself is still here. Uh, the way it changed is that there are more people with the laptops and uh, there are less reading like books and more and more people being active with uh, different kinds of electronic devices. And um, in a way, yeah, I cannot say that I see a lot of change. Uh, I do believe that there is a lot of change which is not really visible to the eye. It depends on what you mean by succeed. Um, if having high marks is a success, then basically selling would be <laughs> a good way. Uh, but I would probably prioritize the uh, balancing of the three things, is uh, finding what you would like to do or trying out to do after the university, because it's not necessarily what you will do in the like, next couple of years will be your career for the rest of your life. So checking and trying different fields uh, as an internships or a part-time job. Um, balancing it with uh, some student activities, because they also give you sometimes the grasp of what you can do or what you're good at, uh, not necessarily in the way that the career would. So you can volunteer and do stuff in the student organizations which you wouldn't necessarily do in the job that you're planning to have. And uh, the third pillar would be studies. So balancing those three things in a way that studies are okay, so you're not failing and don't have a lot of free exams, that would be probably the way to go. We want to see them at the homecoming, absolutely. and. Uh, we would like them to be more involved and ask us more on what we do or how do we can help them or how they can help us. Uh, but the association itself has a lot of perks, so to say, and it also gives you an opportunity to uh, kind of help to steer the university into the direction that the alumnus would like to see future students uh, go. And this is something, an interesting opportunity for us. So the guys who and the girls who are interested in that probably should consider coming on board uh, or trying to come on board in May 2016. Basically stepping in and volunteering in this organization gives you a chance to do something that you probably won't do at your daily job. Uh, it will also plug you in a quite vibrant network of um, alumni that you haven't been in contact with. And additional to that, it will also give you a chance to leverage this time that you spend to change this institution and the association itself into helping the students and the alumni, which would basically, this leverage would uh, have a big impact. Mm -hmm.